Hello and welcome to the channel IT Simplified. Hope you're having a good time with your family and friends and liking these sessions. In today's session on Azure, we'll see how you can elevate yourself as a global admin within Azure Active Directory so that you can manage resources within Azure subscription. Now the question arises, if you are a global admin in Azure Active Directory, why you don't have access to the Azure subscription? Now the reason for that is both these two things are dealt separately and secured separately. Now let's say if you are a global admin and you have a global admin role, it is totally separate from Azure roles, also known as sometime role-based access control and they are secured separately. What are some of the example of Azure AD role? Obviously one example is global admin. You can be a global reader. You can be also a billing administrator. And you can read about uh, what these different role does. And uh, I'm just giving some example over here. You can be a help desk administrator. These are some of the examples of Azure Active Directory role and we are concentrating on this right now because this is a prerequisite in case you want to elevate your access and need access to the Azure subscription. What are some of the examples of Azure roles or so that you can access those resources and subscription? You have the owner, which is the highest role basically. You can have com complete access. You can also grant other people access. You also have the contributor which is similar to owner. The only thing is that you cannot give access to other folks in the environment. You have the reader access. So you can only view. And some of the other examples which comes to my mind are the VM contributor, backup, operator. But these are some of the roles within Azure Active Directory as well as Azure role. But as I mentioned, access to one does not give you automatically access to the other. Now a question arises, why you want to elevate yourself from global admin to access those Azure resources? So this is all listed over here. It can be as simple as that, you know. The chances are if you're a global admin, you want to have access to the Azure resources. So. Uh, it's all listed over here. You want to manage that Azure subscription or maybe you want to give access to other users uh, within, within the organization. But uh, important thing over here is that these are all dealt separately. They are secure separately and the access to one another does not give access. But let me show you how you can give or grant access as a, or elevate yourself as a global admin so that you have access to the Azure subscription. For that, I'm going to go to my Azure portal and search for Azure Active Directory here. And for the left, left sides of the blade, you can see if I scroll down and go under properties. Now in my case, I already have the complete access, but if you're logging in for the first time and you want to elevate yourself, you'll see that uh, it is uh, under the no category. What you need to do is you need to toggle it to yes. And once you do that, it will elevate you to the user access administrator within Azure. So just going back to the page, there is also another role within Azure, which is user access administrator. By switching the button to yes, it will give you user access administrator access in that Azure subscription. Now in my case, it's already done, but let me show you once you do that, I'm just gonna come out of this. So step number one, go to Azure Active Directory, go to the property and just toggle that button to you, uh, yes. Now if I go to the subscription, this is the subscription that we are talking about. And if I go to access control and view my access, 
Now in my case, I already have the owner as well as, but this is the one that I'm talking about. You will see that you will have user access administrator role. So what it will allow you to do, it will let you manage user access to Azure resources. Now let's say you, are also, you also want to be the owner of that particular subscription. So what you can do is you can go to add, you can go to add role assignment. And as I mentioned, there are different roles within Azure. You have reader. So these are some of the other examples. You have the application group contributor, automation operator, backup operators, as I mentioned, VM contributor. But in case you want to give access as an owner or let's say as a contributor, that will come under the category of privilege administrator role because it has some unique access and you get more power. And you can just highlight the one that you want to give uh, access to. Go to next and you can go and select the member let's say i want to give myself the access right since i already have um, uh, but let's say for example i want to elevate myself also as an owner i'm going to pick that and just select it and it will automatically grant me the owner access or contributor access whatever i want or maybe somebody else from the organization right let's say i want to give somebody else uh, the uh, the owner access, right? I can I can uh, pick from my directory, and uh, let's say I want to give to Akash. I can select it, and uh, I can give access. But this is the way you can elevate yourself as a global admin to whatever access you want and manage that uh, Azure subscription and the resources underneath. Hopefully, this was useful. Thanks for watching.